Hello guys. So in this video, I'm just going to give a basics of linear algebra. So that is uh, required for the least square we the least squares video that I'm going to uh, upload the next video. So let's get started. So now suppose you have some amount of linear equations. So let us say case one, where the number of equations are equal to number of variables. So I have two linear equations, a one one x plus a one two y is equal to b one, where x and y are the variables. A one two x plus a two two y, which is equal to b two. So x and y are variables over here. So for these two equations, I can have three scenarios. One, so these are e these are lines because this is a two D two D thing, two variables. So these are nothing but lines. So one case will be that both the lines are on each other. So a case like uh, x plus y is equal to one, and two x plus two y is equal to two. So if you if you see over here, just by multiplying this equation by two, I can get the second equation. So these two equations are nothing but the same line. So this is a case that you can have. The other case that you can have is something like this, where you have a perfect intersection point. So this this equation can be something like x plus y is equal to one, and then you have some x minus y is equal to three two, something like that. So this particular thing will give you one particular solution, one only one and only one solution, unique solution. So this can be the other case, and the third case can be something like this, parallel lines. Where you have say x plus y is equal to one, and then you say x plus y is equal to three, so you can have something like this. So this, if you can see here, x plus y is equal to one, and then in the other equation is saying x plus y is equal to three, so it is contradicting itself. Like if x plus y is equal to one, how can x plus y be equal to three? So by common sense also we can understand this. This will have no solution. So these are two parallel lines, which are basically contradicting each other. This is telling x plus y equals one. This is saying x plus y is equal to three. So this will never intersect basically. So no solution. So this is what we have seen in very basic level, basic understanding, basic maths. So this equations we can turn to a matrix form. So this like this we can have a matrix form a one one a one two a two one a one two. So this is a one two, a two two. And then we have this x y, and then we have this. So in matrix form, this can be called as a x is equal to b, where a is this big matrix, this is x, and this is b. So this is what we can have. So now you can see that for case uh, this particular case and for this parallel case, we will we will not have a solution. So for this, there are infinite solution. So what what do I mean by solution? Solution means that value of x y, that value of x y which Satisfies both the equations, so that value of x y will, which will give you uh, when you place it over here, it will give this equality uh, between. So for this case, that is for this particular case, any point of x comma y will give you the answer. It will satisfy both this, both these equations. So that that is this case over here. For this, there will be only one point that will give you one unique solution. For this, there is no solution, right? So that is what we basically have. So, if suppose I want the solution, I want the answer, that particular value of x that lies on both the lines. If that is what I want, then what I'll have to do is I'll just have to do inverse. So I just multiply by a inverse on both the sides. So this becomes identity. So there is identity over here is equal to there is a inverse b over here. So that is exactly what I have, but this will only work for this case, this uh, middle case, because because for only this middle case, this a inverse is possible. For both these cases, for this case and this case, you will see that a this a matrix turns it turns out that if you take the determinant of a, then the value will be zero. So uh, the intuition is that. Uh, you can see over here. So this matrix that you have 
uh, this x plus y is equal to 1 and 2x plus 2 5 so so the matrix that you can make from this will be 1 1 and 2 2 so you can see that uh, if you just take the determinant of this particular thing you will get answer 0 so this 0 is because this is nothing but just a multiple of this row so you just multiply this by 2 and you get the below row right so for these cases the determinant is 0 the same thing will happen over here so if you take this this is 1 1 1 1 so you can see this is exactly same so for these two cases this a inverse will not be, be possible so only for this case you can find a solution over here which is quite evident from the graph also so that was the uh, case when number of equations are equal to number of variables so in this case you just have one particular uh, thing that is over here so by only this thing you can get your solution that is x is equal to a inverse b only this particular for, so only for this particular case you can get your solution all the other cases are like uh, sort of not uh, not practically used because this this case will not quite occur so that was about uh, when both are equal so now let us uh, see a case where if the number of equations are greater than number of variables so if this is the case what will happen let us see so now what i am saying is that we have three equations a11 uh, a11 x plus a12 y is equal to b1 similarly there is this similarly there is this so now the case is that you have three lines okay and uh, so if there are three lines then what could be the cases so one case could be that all the three lines are on each other so if if all the three lines are on each other so that does not mean that you have three lines that means you actually have only one line so this is also not the case that we are going to deal with we need three different lines so that is our case similarly over here having having this uh, this one upon one so these two equations are basically just one equation actually it is just so i can multiply this by three and tell that there is three equations so that is not what we want right so it is about information how much information do you have so this this means that suppose i have three distinct lines so what what could be the cases so the cases could be that there is this one line there is this other line and say the third line passes from the center that is passes from this intersection so this is the case that we actually want because if this is the case that we have we get one unique solution one uh, unique solution that we want so this is something that we want but we don't get in most situations what we could get in most situation is something like this so here you can see that I have one line over here the other line is over here and the other line is over here so these are three lines so something like this so the, if suppose uh, this wasn't the third line the other line could pass from here so uh, yeah if if i can demonstrate so here here like this something like this so here you can see that there is no common point which is satisfying all the three all the three lines right so no no point is satisfying all the three lines there is no common intersection as we had over here so same case over here we don't have a intersection so i have taken an example so suppose uh, this so in this uh, particular case this will be the matrix that we have this is my a matrix this is my x matrix and this is my b my uh, constant matrix basically a uh, vector constant vector so that is what we have so suppose i take an example suppose my equations are x plus y is equal to 1 which is this line so if you want to know how to plot this line it is basically just put uh, x is equal to 0 and see y value so y is 1 so when x is 0 so this is my x when x is 0 y is equal to 1 so this is 1 and when y is 0 x is equal to 1 so when y is 0 x is equal to 1 so this is 1 so like this i have plotted this so next there is x minus y equal to 0 which basically means x is equal to y so this is this 45 degree line over here and uh, other is x is equal to 1 so x plus 0 y is equal to 1 so this is this parallel line parallel to y axis line over here and similarly i can have some equations over here so now you can see that uh, there is no common solution for the points 
in i have three different lines i have information three different information but still there is no unique solution that can uh, be used to uh, calculate uh, uh, or basically get the value of x and y such that i have my line uh, such that i have all the three lines solved so that is what we are going to see in least squares so least squares gives you an approximate point so it will give you some point some point which will not solve all the three equations but what it will do is it will give you an answer which is closest to the uh, actual uh, so closest to what you actually want so that is what we are going to see in least squares so that will be the next video thank you so much for watching thank you